In this tutorial, we're going to use the slot operation and the contour operation to go ahead and engrave these two items that we have on the top. Come to the cam tab and we will make sure that our origin is set up. And for this one, we'll go ahead and select the slot operation. We'll go ahead and choose our tool and I'm going to use my tapered mill. So I'll come in and I'm going to choose my tapered mill, my tool 11. Last time when we did our slot is we chose the bottom. For this one, we're going to do everything measured off of the top so that we can control it later if we want to go a little bit deeper or not as deep. So I'll select both items to get my slot to find. And for this one, we're going to change the bottom height. We've already chose the stock top and we're going to make this relative to the stock top. And we're going to go in a negative 30 thousandths and select OK. Same as before with our slot, as you can see that it's going to have a ramp approach as it comes into the part. We'll now go ahead and select the 2D contour, select the shape that we would like to engrave. We already have the tool selected and we'll do the exact same thing, select the stock top. If I want it to go a little bit deeper or the same as the ring, we can do that. We'll say OK and we will simulate the process. Now it is going to expose a little bit of the model that's below, so it's not going to give us an exact true replication of it, but a representation of it, but there's not a way right now that I know of being able to turn off the model. I can turn on the stock, but not turn off the model. So the model is going to show through. So we'll come back and we'll select the setup to show them both. We've got our slot and an engrave.